Okay, guys, I'm doing an update here on uh, this uh, Syndicate Courier. Now, I'm just doing this because there's still – she's a slippery one, and she's trying to fool people. Um, I just don't want to see anybody get fooled here. <clears throat> I'm going to play this video. I'm putting this up on my backup channel because uh, uh, you'll see why at the end of this video. She proclaims that if you want to find out information about her to verify, you know, she's not this, you know, awful person that you can do so. Funny thing is, is there is tons of links to uh, stuff exposing her, and it's all been taken down on every single site. She's looking more and more like a government show, um, like she's a client. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this video. And then I'm going to play some other stuff. This is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video. I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to talk about it with you guys. And then um, I'm going to show you what, I, what I've what i found here. Um, and it's not much because, as I said, there's tons of links. And I will show you a bunch of the links. And they're all taken down. All the videos taken down. All the websites shut down. Um, which, to me, really tells me that she... Uh, she doesn't want the truth getting out about her. Um, and that's why she's got no problem telling people, go look me up. Go look me up. Yeah, it's because you had it all scrubbed, Cindy. We all know that you're a fraud. All right. So with that, I'm going to play this for you guys. This is her new video today. Morning, everybody. It is July 28th, 2017. I'm Cindy K. Courier. And uh, I want to share something that has really, um, I guess, been coming home to me. Nobody gets handed a victory. Nobody hands anybody a victory. Okay, that, that's number one. Remember that. You and I, those of you who watch my videos, you and I are on the verge of a victory, but we need to all understand nobody's going to hand that to us. That's, that's number one. Number two is you, you can't steer a parked car. You steer a car that's already moving, see? And the control system has momentum already. It's already moving. And I think some of us had the idea that it was just going to kind of magically move in our direction, that the controllers were going to suddenly see the light and concede and say, okay, here, y'all have your whatever it is, your unlimited abundance, your freedom, your RV, your TDA account, whatever it is. That's not how this works, okay? This is a victory for us to win. All of us together to win. The momentum is there already. The controllers have the momentum going. They did their part. They're moving. Now it's for us to get moving at that same pace. We need to pace right along with them, take the wheel, and steer it. It's like a runaway vehicle, you know, that lost its brakes. You don't just complain that the brakes are out, and you don't, uh, you know, dive out of the car hoping to stop it. You don't, you know, lose your feet trying to drag them on the ground. No. You say, thank you for steering this. I'm going to help. And then you steer it. Okay, that's how we do this. Now, the Airship Bank site is down. And, you know, first of all, I want to say, those of you who are concerned that I've been bamboozled by Swissindo, remember that in 2015, July 27th, actually, almost exactly two years ago, I repurposed Swissindo. I repurposed payments 1 through 11 to align with the airship economy. And so, um, you know, your, your concerns, you can just go ahead and put them away. The concerns that I'm some kind of fugitive or that I have aliases or that I'm a crook, um, you know, those are fictitious. Those are false rumors. I, I, I... I'm not upset about those rumors because I'm hoping that it'll prompt you to do your own due diligence. Don't write to me and say, are you a crook? Because whether I'm a crook or not, I'm going to say no. <laughs> Do 
Do your due diligence. Duper's delight, Do huh, Cindy? See if you're gonna Duper's be delight, yeah. If you're really going to stand in full responsibility and liability for your decisions, then you need to know who I am. That means you need to do a background check on me. A real one, not whatever this is that uh, whoever started these rumors claims to have done. You do a real one. You know, if you've got the money to hire an investigator to look into me, do it. Do it. My full name is Cynthia K. Courier, C-Y-N-T-H-I-A. K-A-Y is my middle name. C-U-R-R-I-E-R -R -E is my last, uh, the name that I was born with, my father's name. My birthday is July 12th, 2000, sorry, July 12th, 1959. Yes, I just had a birthday. Uh, do your due diligence. Then move forward with this in good conscience and in good competency. We're not going to break any laws. We're not going to break any laws. We're going to parallel the control system. We're going to move right along with them because all they have is fiat money to work with as far as their, their power goes. So we need to step in our own power. And no, we don't need money, but the masses still think we do. And that's where the airship economy comes in. And, uh, you know, those of you who don't understand yet what's going on, please watch my playlist, Ecclesia. The three videos, the history of the Court of Ages, to get yourself caught up. Also, watch the playlist, Our New America. Watch all of the orders. You know, watch all those playlists, and then you'll understand where we are in this. I am the backing for the airship bond note. I'm the backing for the airship treasury. My body, my energy, I have done that. That way, you're free. You're not the collateral. You didn't volunteer to be the collateral. You didn't volunteer to have your energy commodified. You didn't volunteer to have your birth become a bond to a control system. So your TDA accounts are, are full of um, debt-based digits. Um, that was a contract you didn't enter into. Therefore, no contract exists. No debt exists. So the TDA accounts are fictitious. So you can keep, continue to work with them in order to understand banking if you want to. But don't expect the TDA account to yield you any new merchandise or any anything spendable. The airship bond note is bonded to me, my energy. I am limitless value, and so are you, by the way. Of course, according by natural law, the concept of value is ridiculous because we're all the we all have unlimited worth and value. So value is a hierarchical concept that really doesn't exist in natural law, but we have to start somewhere. <laughs> so um, the airship bank site has been taken down, probably hacked. Um, the official United States of America site has also taken down, hacked, as is the... Uh, Earthland Navigator site. They're all gone. So, fortunately, I had the uh, American Law of the Land on a different account. So, go to AmericanLawOfTheLand.com, find the Law of the Land handbook, check that out. Let's start working together. I know you thought the RV was going to happen a different way. I know you thought the Sarah was going to happen a different way, but we're bringing the Sarah into view. We're bringing the, the unlimited uh, abundance interview. We're bringing the RV into view. I have been willing to exchange fiat currency for asset-backed currency. Airship uh, treasury bonds, which then are tradable for airship bond notes. Now, not immediately because I'm the only one working on this. I'm the only teller in the bank. And so um, sometimes I spend all day working with one or two or three people on one or two or three transactions. And so I can't possibly answer all the emails I get or got when the site was up. So somebody wrote to me and suggested that I get a paid site. That would be hackable too. You know, if, if it's the controller's government that's hacking those, any site's going to be hackable. So what I want to say is I am the Airship Bank. You can deal with me directly. Um, the email is airshipbank at gmx.com. Now, if that gets hacked 
and taken down, um, you know, we'll have to come up with a different email, I guess. But what I'm going to need from you is, you know, I've been issuing unlimited um, airship treasury bonds to people for the asking who have signed the Law of the Land Handbook. What I'm realizing, though, in then in subsequent con subsequent conversations, those people didn't understand. They signed that thing without getting it. They don't understand what's going on. So I think I may need to do more conversing with you. More conversation needs to happen. Um, so I'm I'm pondering a way to do that without handing out my personal phone number to people. I already get just scads of calls on my cell phone every day uh, unsolicited so because of that I have it turned all the way I can't I don't hear it and I don't respond to phone calls because of that so I need to figure a way to have one-to-one uh, -one interviews with y'all before we do these exchanges the airship bond note is asset backed currency for everyone in the world um, so anyone can get a transitional account um, by exchanging your fiat worthless USDs for asset-backed airship bond treasury bonds right now. Now, right now, the merchants um, are still corporatized, so we need to get uncorporatized merchants. We need farmers who are willing to work with the people and accept airship bond notes. Um, we need utility systems, water systems um, that we can, for instance, the Warka water system, we need to find somebody who can build something similar, who is willing to use airship bond notes as, um, as, as currency for that. We need to build our own system, people. We need to take the wheel and steer this our direction, see? The, there's no corporation that's going to massively build Warka water systems that wick the water out of the humid, humid air so that we can have free flowing water without paying for it. There's no corporation that's going to do that. We need to do that, see. We need to do that. The work of water system doesn't require electricity. You set it outside and it wicks, it wicks the moisture right out of the air, see. We also need to um, find a way to get free transportation. We need somebody to build the hydrogen things that go in your car that turn your car into a uh, hydrogen operated and electricity operated so that we aren't paying for gas stations. We need to make this transition. We need to do this ourselves. So many of you have written to me thinking that I'm going to do this for you. Well, nobody's going to do this for you. We're all in this together. Victory is ours. We have to reach out and take it. Reach out and take it. Okay. So um, today I'm going to be pondering a way to connect with y'all. I am the Airship Bank. I am the Airship Bank. You have an asset-backed currency. It's time to develop the, uh, the systems to get that working. I am on an island that uh, my um, mission here is that this island be ha have the first natural law community. Um, you know, a town that's natural law. Um, I'm hoping that somebody, you know, some of y'all say, well, I think I want to join you, but I need to talk with you first. You either get it or you don't. You either re looked at the Law of the Land Handbook and you get it. It's in your heart. You know that the island where I am, it's off the east coast of the United States somewhere, okay? Uh, you can see by my face <laughs> that it's uh, nice and sunny around here. Um, so, you know, that that gives you a little bit of information right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to end this video, but I want to inspire you to begin really searching your heart. Understand that this is our moment. This is our moment. This is what you've been waiting for. The RV is real, and it's right here. The the global reset is real, but it's but it's here, right here with us. Okay? So let's do this. Let's do this together. Okay. That's it for now. I can't wait to get some free time, Cindy, because I'm going to reverse speech you.
and everyone's going to know what you're really about. Okay, guys, so continuing on, so after listening to that, um, she's in that whole video, okay, she's giving away a lot of clues. Now, first off, watch her eyes. Um, the Duper's Delight laugh, which you heard me say Duper's Delight laugh there, that's like undeniable right there, okay? Um, I'm going to have some more evidence for you guys here. Um, but she scrubbed most of it. All of these, any of the stuff exposed and fraud exposed, it's, it's all been scrubbed. Okay. Now the big thing here is she flat out tells you that she's got this fictitious bank. She's got this currency. She says the U S currency is worth nothing. But then, without coming straight forward and saying it, Roundabout Way tells you her currency is worth less. Because it is. Her currency is worth less than the, the paper on your toilet paper roll. I mean, the, she claims it's backed by a gold, but if she's got all this gold, then why is she begging for money from people to start up this bank that was already supposedly started? And then she's trying to claim in this video she just said that using the treasury accounts that we're using isn't in line with the law. But then why was she claiming the routing numbers for the Bureau of Public Debt as her own to start with to push the idea of her fictitious bank? And then when the reversals and rejections kicked in, the next day she changed it to the New York State Diverse, uh, Dispersing Division. And then when the, the following day, when, when the Federal Reserve announced that um, the, the fraud uh, or the scam alert and that the FBI was investigating or whatever it was they said, um, then she completely removed all routing numbers. And then in this video tries to claim, oh, I want to stay in, in line with the law. Okay, Cindy. Okay. So she claims to have gold but she doesn't have the money or the funds to establish the bank because she, as I put in my video, well documented, she was openly begging for somebody to make a very large deposit so she could charge a very large fee so she could actually establish said bank. Cindy, why also did you put up an address in New York saying that was the physical address of your bank and then when and then in the same video you turned around and and proclaimed that you haven't had the bank open yet and nobody could come to the bank they had to deal with you strictly through email now that alone is a red flag see people are smart they wanted to do business smart Whenever you're dealing with a large amount of money and you're supposed to be depositing that money into a secure bank, yeah, you want to go to the bank location and make sure that your money is going to be safe. But no, you can't do that with Airship Bank because it doesn't exist. What you have to do is send Cindy 5000 US dollars of the United States currency or Federal Reserve notes I should say and then Cindy will then give you 5,000 or however many dollars of her airship bond notes that she clearly says in this video merchants do not even accept so you better hope that when you hand her your five thousand dollars that you got plenty of money to live off of because there's no refunds and you're not going to be able to use those notes for anything. You might be able to make paper airplanes with them, but that's about it. So she's insisting that you need all these different places to go on these airship bond notes. But the problem is, is she's claiming that it's, an, it's a uh, backed currency, that it's backed by gold. 
Now, has anybody ever even seen the gold? And I don't mean her putting up a picture of, of gold because you could easily pull that off of Google Images. I mean, her actually video recording, her holding up her gold bars that she so claims to have, and if she's talking about the delusional order that she fictitiously put through claiming the rights to all of the gold in the world because she thinks uh, – she signs her signature, Her Majesty, Queen of Queens, it, it's not real. It's all delusion and scam. And I'm going to tell you why the minimum amount she's asking for that $5,000 is. It's a, it's a very common method of scamming people. She takes $5,000 because she knows you're not going to be coming back. Once you end up realizing, oh, whoa, I ended up buying $5,000 in these worthless pieces of paper that I can't, I can't spend anywhere. I can't do anything with. Do you think that you're going to be going back to get more? No. She knows it. So she puts in bold letters on her website, no refunds. She puts in, 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 in big, bold letters, it's your responsibility to make sure merchants accept airship bond notes. And she can't even give you physical bonds She's telling you all you're getting is e-bonds. So she's going to go in Photoshop, whip up her own bond, and say it has a backing and it has a value when in reality it has nothing. See, whenever we approach something like this and we see something like this, we have to look at it logically from all angles. And it's funny because I've messaged and emailed Cindy on numerous occasions asking Cindy to talk to me. I offered for us to do a Google Hangout Live and, and that way I could explain my concerns and she could answer them. And if she could prove without a shadow of a doubt that I'm wrong, then I'll publicly apologize to her. But I know that I'm not wrong. And she knows that I'm not wrong. And that's why you still have yet to see a video of me and Cindy talking about the scam she's perpetuating on you guys. So, Cindy, your websites were hacked? Are you sure they were hacked? They were subdomain, free subdomains. I think maybe Weebly just uh, finally got, they became aware of what you were doing on that website, that you were making a fictitious bank claiming that you are the president when you are not, and... Um, you know, being that you are controlled opposition, pushing the masses to uh, sign these New World Order contracts, and if you aren't controlled opposition, then it was to get them in line with whatever sick, sadistic idea it is that you're following. The whole freedom, yeah. I'm all about that, but I'm not about giving up God. I'm not about giving up my my uh, loved ones, my pets. I'm not about um, putting people to death for ridiculous causes, as you outlined in that said contract. Um, let's see. What else is there? Oh, I'm not cool with you talking about FEMA camps and, and that that's what you guys will use for detention centers. Um, what else is there? Uh you can't say bless you, uh, you can't eat meat, you can't, I mean, literally, you have a book of laws and you're stripping people's freedoms, they're going to have less freedoms under signing your contract than we currently have in the system that we're already dealing with. See, somebody like you, they depend on the fact that most people don't really read things. They don't go through things. They don't do the research. They're so used to just, um, okay, it sounds good, or somebody else. They're so used to depending on somebody else uh, giving them the answer because unfortunately, and it's not the people's fault, it's because of the society that the elitists have created 
they have made it this way. They've intentionally dumbed down our society. That way they're easily controlled. And you are doing the same exact thing. You're relying on the same exact thing. You're sitting here claiming in this video about talking about, you either get it or you don't. More. Just like I was talking about with the scammer, the scammer from the email, urgency. Put in urgency to make people feel like they're missing out on something, and that way they don't think clearly, they just jump on board. That's what you're relying on, Cindy. I see right through your bull. I do. And a lot of other people do too. And I'm going to continue to keep putting this out, and you know what? You can try to take my stuff down just like you did to everybody else, but guess what? I'm going to document it all, and if anything happens, I'm actually doing a service. I am stopping people from signing their rights over and being scammed and bilked of money from you. I could go into the legal aspect of your history but I'm not going to because I know some of your stuff is sealed. And I know that I can be then sued for defamation being it's sued. So I'm not going to go into the specifics on that. Just going to say, Cindy, I know. So, guys, based off of what you heard in that video, I'm sure you guys are already aware of all, I mean, she was using some ridiculous analogies to try to make herself sound like she's halfway sane or is pushing a good agenda, but, you know, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's usually a duck. So here we go. Video unavailable. Rise Together channel. Cindy Courier exposed in fraud. This was another one. Rise Together channel. Cindy Courier exposed in fraud. Rise Together channel. Cindy Courier exposed in a fraud. Not available. This was another one that was uh, Rise Together. It was a different, but it was exposed. Not found. Same thing, not found. Same thing, Cindy is a scam, exposed. Here we go. Karen Hoods. Leslie, please forgive me for asking at least 90% of the people who email me are cabal. If not higher proportion, you must have some family nearby. Is it your own protection? Otherwise, blah, blah, blah. Okay. No, Karen, I'm not Cabal. I want to avoid them just like you. Um, let's see. Let's go down to where it actually gets to Cindy here. How can we arrest the people who have to step aside voluntarily when they are now in control? We are talking about religion after the money stops flowing to get the banking cartel or are we going to argue among ourselves and get bogged down which is is what the banking cartel wants I do not have time for you are you cabal Cindy Courier is an agent for the banking cartel here's an old tweet showing how Cindy K Courier tried to steal the world's gold You guys can take a look at this stuff for yourself. Let's listen to this. So, continuing on. Let's take a look at this. This is one of the videos that was... Uh, Mass flag to get taken down.
Another one, screenwriter, selling freaking screen, uh, falsehoods, everything like that. Rise together. I showed you her to create her channel, September 11th, 2010. This channel has evolved, oh, just as I have evolved. She tells you, don't claim your taxes, don't do this, don't do that. Yet, she's selling books. She started selling her first book, Forgiveness to Hero's Journey, by Cindy Courier. When? 2010. When exactly was it published? Well, we can go look. There's one site. Here's Amazon. Oh, that's her new book that just came out. Well, let's go back to Forgiveness here. Forgiveness means everything. I'm sorry. You know, it makes me think of, like, uh, Just Friends. And when did this come out? September 14, 2010. Wow, just after she created her channel to sell more shit. Bullshit. All right, that's what they sell you. All right, so she comes out, sells this damn thing, tells you, don't claim your taxes, don't, don't do it, but I do this and I sell this and I never pay taxes. I just came out with a new book, Transition in Natural Law, two ninety nine. you know, but I don't claim taxes, and this came out October 10th, 2016, uh, so I could sell all this shit. Texas Shrugged Book. Throws it right in his name. So, as you guys saw, Rise Together started her channel September 10th, 2000, or September 11th, I'm sorry, 2010, okay? And uh, her first book came out on September 14th, 2010, and she's had a long history of books, and she's been selling lots of them. And as I was trying to explain... There's a motive. There's always a motive. So basically, she's peddling these books, and she's made a lot of them. She's peddling these books and making all these these videos, claiming to be the president, trying to rally up, you know, saying, giving ideas and ideals that a lot of people agree with because we're tired of the corruption in the government. We're tired of you know, everything that we've been going through in the last 20, 30 years. I mean, we've been going through it for a lot longer than that, but this country in general has just gotten a lot a lot worse with the corruption in the last 20, 30 years. And it's all to sell her books. That's what it's all about. But even that could be a cover, as I said, controlled opposition. Here she turns on Swiss Indo, she flip flops back and forth, she turns on her friend Yusuf, she um right here says it all to me. Cindy's comment to DCWC Dr. WC seems divide and conquer ish. Okay? Divide and conquer ish. Who else likes to do that divide and conquer um MO? The elitists. The government. Yeah. Divide and conquer. Swiss Indo. Cindy. Okay. Let's go down the Where this is. Titles like Emperor Emperor or Empress of Sound Familiar? Cindy? Queen of Queens? Her Majesty. Suddenly turns against Swiss Swiss Indo issues arrest order. Now all of a sudden they're back like nothing's ever happened. Interesting, Ron Van Dyke never seems to turn on those who take him in and use them him to promote their skins. This happened with Tim Turner's Republic Swiss Indo ambassador. Even after it, it was incredibly obvious that they were deeply flawed, he would not say bad things about those who used them. There's more. There's not much, though, because she's got it all scrubbed. Let's take a look.
This is on OPPT. I'm going to that another time. I got to make sure I'm 100% right on OPPT. I know I'm 100% right on Cindy. And then you got some of Cindy's, uh, if not Cindy herself, coming over here trying to, you know, discredit what's being said. And then where is it? Get real nasty. Uh, I want to show that. Where was that? Uh, let me find it and then I'll start. I don't. You must have assumed that I do. I like Cindy. Trying to demean her here is not the place. I think you should post your own video if you want to pick on her. You will not do it here. This is fair warning. It's probably a warning as far as uh, how they go and shut down any site that puts something up about her. Which I find that very funny by itself because if you look up anybody else, uh, yeah, you'll have a video here they're taking down. Literally every video pretty much is taken down of her. And then this here shows you that... Uh, K Courier. HM must stand for Her Majesty. Oh. And then Queen of Queens, of course. But look what she's calling on um, all the uh, all the hordes of natural so resources, whatever it is, gold, silver, and on and on and on, maybe invisible and invisible. And look, she's asking for the following mandate is to the royal armies of the kingdom of the earth. Those members of the United States Marshals, United States Military, Army, National Guard, Militia, and the UN Security Council, multinational military aligned with natural law. So all these people, which is, this is what they want to do anyway, are coming after everyone's whatever possessions that have been, you know, taken from the earth. Anyway, Her Majesty has proclaimed this, okay? Thanks for watching. Yeah. You're Her Majesty, all right. Greetings, world. We are anonymous. Cindy K. Currier, you are here with order to cease and desist. You have become a self-appointed spokesperson for the people of the world. Or were you put up to this task? Who is your mentor? Who assigned you with the task of speaking for the rest of us? Was your goal was to get us into a contract without full disclosure? Does that not constitute fraud? We have heard those who have said they will organize to arrest the cabal, to gain a following only to have the individuals who will be targeted readily available for clamp down. How do you and others stay safe and clean, when those of us who stand up for ourselves have our property stolen, are being jailed and having our lives threatened? Something is rotten in Denmark, and we know what. You are ordered to cease and desist. The people of the world have not designated you to speak in their behalf. We, the living beings, withdraw any perceived, presumed or assumed consent. Anonymous has spoken. We are anonymous. We are legion. United as one. Divided by zero. We do not forgive censorship. We do not forget impression. To Cindy K. Currier and the Cabal, you have been warned. Expect us. So as you guys can see... Well, good morning, everybody. It is an early morning here. Uh, okay. Yeah, look at those eyes. North Carolina. And I think Duping delight. Duping delight. I think I hear some people starting to... Duping delight. Okay, guys. 
So, this was a comment that somebody put on one of my videos. They were mad that I um, called Cindy out. This is one of her followers. And I honestly wouldn't even be surprised if, you know, Cindy sent is sending people over to do this. But she said, you're laughing at Cindy K. Curry or what have you done for anyone lately? Orders, trial... Soon military engagement, and we will have gold, and we have gold backing. You can do the dishes after the party. So, and it it was in the spam folder, no less. And uh, yeah, I don't think that she really thought that I was gonna see it. I think that she thought I would have missed it because there's so much, you know, so many comments and so much traffic right now. But I told you guys, I read the comments. I read your guys' comments. So, unfortunately for her, she didn't realize that. Um, LOL, come on. That's why I tried getting a hold of Cindy, and she would not answer to explain. If she's got gold, have you seen it? Then why was she publicly begging for money to even set up the bank after she claimed it to be up and running? Why was she putting a physical address to a bank she said was in business that then turned out not to exist and later removed that address because people were smart and wanted to go to the location to do business? Why did she claim the, Puro, the Bureau of Public Debt as her bank's routing number and then when all the denials and reversals kicked in, change it to the New York Federal Reserve Disbursement Division the next day and claim it as her own? Then the following day, when the New York Dispersing Division talked about FBI investigating, uh, removed all routing completely. Also, why does she refer to FEMA camps in her Satanic New World Order contract? Why does she outlaw loving and practicing of your religion? Why does she outlaw the loving and caring of our pets? Why does she and your movement think you have a right to put anyone to death for very vague reasons as outlined in said contract? Why does she or anyone else in your made-up fake government think they have any right to make people sign New World Order style contracts telling them what they can and can't do, essentially stripping them of more freedoms than they already have? Why is Cindy always at the library? Did her internet get disconnected or something? Why does she require $5,000 minimum de uh, deposit transactions via internet only? Uh, E-fake bond certificates that have less value than the paper on the toilet paper roll. I'll tell you why the 5000 minimum deposit exchange for worthless toilet paper is because they obviously won't be coming back for more when they get the fake money and realize it has no value. It's a common scam and she made sure to put in bold letters no refunds and it's the, cons the customer's responsibility to verify merchants take fake worthless airship notes or monopoly money. She is a classic con, and you're damn straight I'm going to warn my YouTube family. I'm sure you wished you never commented now, as you thought. The witty comment was just going to get lost in the shuffle. But, see, I don't disable my comments, unlike some... Oh, man, I lost my place there, guys. Uh, unlike some, I have nothing to hide. I'm as transparent as clear glass. And I actually read my comments from, from my family. So can you please have Cindy get in touch with me now and explain all those very important questions? Once she proves to me I'm wrong, I would be more than happy to publicly apologize and support her. LOL. I say that because I won million percent. No, it will never happen. I don't say things unless I'm very confident most of the time. Totally sure. Oh, I also forgot an important question. Why does someone with so much money and gold supposedly and is supposedly the president and owns a bank not able to afford her own website instead of a free subdomain? And then just because of the comment about. OK, guys, so. Uh, there you have it. That's. Uh, pretty much the the gist of it. I'm going to attach the other three videos I did on the Airship Bank to the end of this video. Um, 
so it will be a bigger video and it's going to kind of show all the stuff that I found so that hopefully people can kind of see the writing on the wall and put it all together and protect themselves you know um, I don't think Cindy's way is the way to go I'm not saying some of the ideas that she was pushing weren't good ideas but when you look at the cons compared to the pros it's really not there and that's the way the controlled opposition works and and all of that the even scammers they'll use really good ideas that people will want to be a part of and then they'll mix in these half truths or these bad these negative um, control or negative consequences uh, with that and you'll never get the good that is being promised so I just I want to forewarn people um, I know my video will probably get flagged it is what it is I'm pretty sure I can prove that my video is not bad there's nothing wrong with it so Cindy the the offer is always there you can get in touch with me we can do a, a hangout you can answer my questions honestly and uh, I will be reversing some of your speech coming up once I got some free time so there you go guys um, if you like what I'm doing give me a thumbs up if uh, you haven't already subscribed, do so now as there's more, a lot more videos coming out. Um, leave your comments and your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, most importantly, share. All right, guys, much love and uh, God bless you.